What's going on? Knucklehead she can gave me here another Lego Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And yesterday bought us the Quincy Events Return. And it's actually today bought it to us on my time, but this video will not be released till tomorrow when I'm filming. Okay, whatever. Yesterday the Quincy event dropped. And man, some bad news with the shop. Let's just go over. Let's just go right to the event store. They took my boy Kartofsky out of the event store. Now I remember just a go go. GKM, what are you gonna do when they if they put Jens and Gorwell in the event store? I was like, just a go go. I'll probably wake up because that would only happen in a dream. I wouldn't be surprised if they took Kartofsky out. And lo and behold, they took. Kartofsky out. So, I mean, it is what it is. I never, uh, I have them at six star, but I mean, I had a feeling they were going to take them out, which, you know, I, I, I'm in no rush to have a seven star Kartofsky. So, you know, it is what it is on that end. Space isn't going to be dominant with Kartofsky anytime soon, unless you have Jens and Gore while you're really not even running space. Uh, you know, running sp space without Jens and Gorwell is like running pirates without Redbeard and Scarlet or Redbeard and Dark or running spooky without Basil and Willa. It's like, you, you just don't do it. It's just not good. So this event store, a little bit underwhelming. Um, here's the thing. This is the one time like, I'm like, what's the point of even saving? Like, I'm going to farm. I'm going to be farming the set. But the set is garbage. And like, I don't really care about getting the set to seven star this time. I wouldn't waste event currency on it. I mean, I pretty much have everything seven star gear seven in this shop. Uh, so this might be a good opportunity to spend that 450 and finally boost up my tier three set tools as a new reworked Lego house is coming in the next update, which we talked about in yesterday's video. But, Let's go and check out the bundles. These bundles are actually, again, not bad. Uh, I do like, this team has been putting out better uh, value in their bundles. Definitely pushing to get a little more spending, which I feel like the other team didn't. So I didn't like what they did with the Master Wu thing where like, I don't like paywalling, but I do like where they're like, hey, we'll give you a lot and make it a lot easier if you want to get these figures quicker. Listen, I wouldn't buy this Quincy pack because I got Quincy seven star. All I did was two gem refreshes a day, but two times the event came through. Super easy farm, great drop rate on this. But 35 tiles for 15 bucks, not bad. And you can get over a hundred tiles for like under 50 bucks. That's that's pretty good for Quincy. Dwayne, no, don't do it. It's 65, I mean, they could give you, they could literally give you seven star Dwayne for 10 bucks. And I would still say not to do it. They could be like, here's seven star Dwayne, 10 bucks. They can give you seven star Dwayne for five bucks. They might give them for you for two bucks. And I probably still would suggest saving the $2 because he's not good. He's bad. But now this is an expensive pack, right? This festive Pip Town bundle. First off, super great artwork. Definitely going to be, as you will probably have already seen, going to be my uh, thumbnail artwork because I love this Kartofsky with his he's like running with his little techie thing and Gorwell's on there listen it, it, if you're behind this is a real good way to start off your space team right you get Kartofsky it basically gives you Kartofsky and Gorwell unlocked plus I believe a three star locust which is pretty nice if you're just starting 70 galaxy explorer tiles again it, it, and a million gold. The Gorbel tiles are nice. It's a nice value. But, you know, unless you're really pushing to try to get your Gorbel up and pay for it, I wouldn't do this. Uh, then we have just the 65 tile Gorbel pack. 50 bucks, though. That is expensive. And only half a million gold. But, I, you know, again, it's like, all right, Gorbel is clearly like, the chase figure of the game right now. I would say second only to Slimer as best figures in the game, I, I think, my opinion. Uh, Willa's definitely up there for me too, but I think Gorwell just, Gorwell's just such a game changer. Slimer's a little better, but 
I wouldn't buy this pack, but again, it, it's out there and I don't mind them saying, hey, you can buy. They're not even, they're not giving you a chance to whale to get to seven star Gorwell, which is nice. You can whale to get a little more tiles and maybe get yourself another star up or maybe get the unlock of Gorwell, which is cool. You know, I'm okay with that. This doesn't bug me as much as it's gonna bug a lot of other people. Stupid Master Wu pack. And then this is a cool pack, right? 75 of all of your space heroes, 70 bucks, yuck. I wouldn't spend that a million gold. Again, space is super easy to farm, minus Commander Cold. He's a little more of a difficult farm, but he's still free to play, right? I wouldn't spend money on this pack. No money, no how. The awesome pack though, right? We looked at these last time and did the amount of gens tiles go down or maybe it was always 25. I think it was always 25 gens tiles in this pack. Uh, actually, I think it went down, but I think the price of the pack went down. 25 gens tiles for 20 bucks. You get some bonus tiles. This is not a bad value, especially that gens is kind of hard to farm. Uh, and you really, like I said, Jens is the linchpin of the space teams. So if I was gonna buy any of these packs, I would probably suggest these, this is your best value because you're getting Jens tiles. Especially if you're not a veteran player like myself where, Gen, where Jens tiles might come a little easier in the uh, master shot. So 50 bucks for these gear packs Maybe 25 might have been worth it, but I still would never would never buy those. They changed. They had the the uh, set tool pack. They changed it. They made it 10 bucks, which is much cheaper. But it only comes with tier one and tier two. Again, this is something for a newer player might definitely want to purchase this to start boosting up their sets. But veteran players don't need this. And I like that the. The stuff for the newer players is a little bit lower price. They want to introduce, hey, just spend a little bit, right? We'll work you in here. And then the big ones come when you get a little later in the game if you want to spend. Same thing they did here, eight bucks, but no tier three elixirs. Again, this is good for early game players. If you want to drop a little bit of money, give yourself a little boost, save yourself a little time, get something done a little quicker. Not something I would buy. Then they just threw in this $15 read pack. 65 tiles for 15 bucks is still, it. like I said, it's a good value in terms of the amount of tiles you're getting, but he's such a free to play, easy to farm violent waste unit, I wouldn't do it. 20 bucks for the cold units, 20 bucks for 100 tiles of cold and Kelvin. This is probably the second most worth it because cold is an annoying farm. Like I had to, I had to farm cold in my chill event to really get him where I wanted him to be. Uh, so I don't mind that. The energy packs, you know, these are always decent value because you're going to get stuff to spend on in the shop so you can get more set tools and stuff. And they still have the, the oh, this is three, three bucks for a few of those. I guess that price went down. Yeah, man, I used to think that this was, you got more elixirs with this, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so... I, again, they, they do a little better on the bundles. The bundles are all right, you know. Some people are gonna hate that Gorwell is in a bundle and paywalled, but I don't really look at Gorwell as paywalled like I do as Wu, where it's like, if you wanna get the seven star Wu, you have to spend. They're not even giving you the opportunity to max Gorwell, right? It's just a chance for somebody who's newer, say, to, okay, I, well, I, I can at least pay and get Gorwell because I missed it or I'll wait till an event comes around. There's gonna be more chances to get Gorwell. They're gonna, you know, sprue it out there as they do. Uh, but I'm a little bummed, no chance to farm Kurtovsky. Uh, so that's kind of really got me down. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.